All right, greetings, everyone. Here once again, we want to extend a very, very warm welcome to everybody that's assembled here, uh, for those from uh, overseas and certainly from those that are in this country. But first of all, we certainly want to give the highest due regard to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is God Almighty. We certainly are grateful to him uh, for blessing us to be here assembled again for another uh, convention. Uh, we certainly give due respect. We want to always acknowledge uh, the deceased prophets of old and the apostles, as the scripture says, let their memory be blessed. Uh, we certainly give due respect to our dearly beloved brother and pastor, Pastor Jennings, and to all the other elders and ministers that are assembled here. We can't name each one, but we're thankful for everyone. Again, we're thankful for you, the saints of God, and for our visitors who may be here, we're thankful for you also. Uh, don't let this be your last time to be with us. Uh, while the offering is being collected, again, we're going to hear from a few of the brothers uh, that have uh, come from a long way to see us and to visit with us. They're not always here in Philadelphia. Uh, one of the brothers we have not heard from on this particular occasion is the brother that's appointed to our Spanish-speaking uh, souls across the world, Minister Abraham Aviles. Greetings, brothers and sisters. It is always good for us to be here. You know, I thank God for the opportunity to be in Philadelphia one more time. I thank God for Pastor Jennings for the work that has is, that is continued to carry on in this place. Definitely, I've, I've been enjoying myself, learned so much. Um, thank God for the message last night. Um, definitely, I heard many good many good things and even when I went to bed last night I was asking the Lord to help me in my unbelief to help me to do away with everything that is not like him and to give me patience to wait you know and work on that faith give us a faith that actually you can see it you know we don't want to have a faith that that is hidden behind the door but we want to have a faith that uh, you can actually see it i thank god for the truth of god i thank god because he has he, he has gave me the opportunity to see many things fulfilled in 2017. it was a year of many trials for me many tribulations but I nevertheless, I thank God because he brought me through and with great victory. You know, it's, it is nice to be part of something that is moving, that is not stale, but it's something that is changing lives everywhere we go. And I thank God for that. You know, this year, I think... Uh, I've been, I've been ministering since 1988 when I started, I preached my first, my first sermon back in 1998. And I had never baptized as many people as I did this year. And I'm so thankful for that because that brought me a great fulfilling in my soul. As a minister, I don't think there's nothing more rewarding than to see somebody repent and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, want, we don't want no money. We don't get paid for preaching. We, we, we host the job to take care of ourselves and our families. So the only thing we're looking for is for you to repent and get your life straight. And that's all we're looking for. And a lot of times people will walk up to us and say, what can we do? Listen, you want to make our life easier, obey the commands of God. And you obey, it is less work that we have to do. So I thank God for that. 51 souls are baptized in the year of 2017. Out of the... Out of the, out of the out of the state of Florida. And I thank God for those that God put in the midst of, of the state of Florida. They've been faithful brothers. They've been helping me. A lot of them brothers, they sit in the background, but they do a lot of labor for First Church. And I thank God for every one of them because they labor. They labor with us. 
Definitely thank God for every one of the ministers here tonight. I see how the ministry is growing. I thank God for every one of the new brothers that are coming in. I'm telling you that it, this is the best thing you could have ever done. And this is the best choice you ever made. And if you ever wanted to be part of a ministry that will put you to work and bring you fruit, you're at the right place. You're at the right place. And if you don't mind laboring, this is the right place. And I thank God for Pastor Jennings. It is, I tell you what, it is nice to follow somebody that is actually leading you somewhere. Yes, you, can actually, you can actually see. You can actually see where you're going to listen. That you, can do, you can do more in one year here than you would 20 years running around by yourself trying to figure it out. Trying to figure out your calling. But well, we had a calling, Pastor. You know, we all say, I, I had a calling. We, we was just as lost. We weren't doing nothing by being part of the same confusion that was already in the world. I thank God for the truth of God. Keep, keep me in prayer. Peace. Always thankful for Minister Aviles and uh, his fine words of expression as always. Very encouraging. Uh, we're going to call on one brother here uh, from Jamaica. I uh, was working with the Saints down in the Caribbean, uh, Minister Baker. After that, we're going to have to ask a few words from Minister Campbell, if possible. So at this time, Minister Baker from uh, Jamaica. Greetings, everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ do give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank God for the prophets of old and the apostles. Thank God for the man of God, Pastor Gina Jennings, current apostle, who is first in the church. We thank God for all the ministers that labor in word and doctrine, and we thank God for all the saints. I'm glad that I can find myself today in holiness. And not just in the church, but God is in me. Because Jesus said, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. You see, it's one thing to be in the church, you know. But when you have God in you, that's even better. Because you can be in the body and in the temple, or in the building, but not in the church. Not have God in you. So I'm really glad to be in a faith where you can hear the word of God preached in its purest form that it can save our soul. So there's no better place to be. I'm glad I'm not in a bar or some place to ring in the new year, but I'm in the house of God. I don't want to just be in holiness, just to be here for a time and then, you know, just to go back. But I want to stain it to the end. Because the scriptures say, He that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. So it is for us to stain it. You know, this morning I looked at something natural and I compared it to spiritual. And I was really amazed. I looked at the snow. And I said, It was my first time seeing snow. <laughs> first time. And I looked at that and I said three things. It was refreshing to me. It was new to me. And it came from God. And then I compared it to holiness. First time I came in contact with holiness. And heard a man of God teach the word of God. It was refreshing to my soul. It was new to me. And it came from God. God bless you. In Jesus Christ. Thank God for the words coming from uh, Minister Baker from uh, Kingston, Jamaica. Obviously, Jamaica is very near and dear to my heart, the place of my birth. Uh, we're going to wait now until we get to Minister Campbell to the, uh, to the podium. Please sit patiently with him as he expresses himself and gives thanks to the Lord. Minister Campbell.
Praise the Lord, saints. We are thankful to God to be here, and we're so honored. We feel it is an honor and a privilege to be among you again. We had almost reckoned that we, as all the things that happened, that we might not be able to come again. We could just lend support, but the Lord was gracious enough to to cause us to be in your midst again. And I'm glad about it. I, it just, it does my heart want good, you know. The saints praying all the time at home, but when I can come into the house of God, and folks, I, I can't see you, but when I can hear you calling on the name of the Lord. <laughs> Saint, that warmed my heart, I'm telling you. When I can hear the people of God calling on God, stretching out, trying to get in touch with God, oh, that's wonderful. Does my heart good. I, 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 I want to say, uh, I, I, I'm requesting prayer from each and every one of you. I have a petition before God. Is it all right if I give them a testimony of For about two years now, I've just about been in darkness. And uh, I, I, I don't want you to feel sorry for me because I thank God for this darkness. You might not understand that, but I thank God for this darkness. It has given me time to meditate and to think and to examine and to pray and wait on God. So, on November, they said to me, we think we can do something for your eyes. And I'm the type of fella, I, I don't ask very much from God. I, I, don't, I, I don't need very much. I just need salvation. And I wasn't jumping up and down to, to have the operation because I, I, I didn't want any disappointment. I was, I was happy with my, di my darkness. And so I talked to Pastor Jennings and he encouraged me. And we had the operation on the 13th of this month. And on the 14th, they took off all the bandage, and I saw more light than I have seen in two years. And I got happy about it. But, the, you know, I, I didn't want to call Pastor Jennings because I, 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 I know the devil. I've been dealing with him too long not to know him. Yeah. And so I waited to Monday and I called him and I said, Pastor Jenny, I, you know, gave him the good news and, and, then, and he was jaw, joyful and so was I. And on the very next day on Tuesday, <laughs> and the darkness came back. I said all that to say this to you. I, I want you to petition the, God, uh, petition the Lord for one thing. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not concerned about seeing. I really am not. I'm not. Uh, I am. I, I've gotten used to my darkness. I've learned to embrace my darkness. Uh, uh, you know, sitting and thinking and, you know, I, I think about Isaac went blind. The prophet Abijah went blind. And there's so many more when I began to look in the word of God that it was God's will that they should be blind. But one thing I noticed about them, they stay with God. That's my only thing I want to do. But, but I'm, 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 I'm going to hush, but I'm going to hear up and say what I got to say and hush, get out of your way. There is one petition I'm asking for you from God for. I don't want to see. It, it doesn't matter if I never see again as far as being able to do things that seeing people 
do. I just want one thing from the Lord. One thing. I want to be able to read the word of God again. I miss that more than anything. That's my desire. That if, if the Lord doesn't give me any sight, just give me enough where I can look at the word of God and, and read it. I, I, can't, I can't even read Acts 238 now. You know, I, I'm not sad about that. But I want to read the word of God. I, I, you don't understand, but to preach two years and never being able to, le to read large swats of the Bible is a burden to me. That's the only reason why I want to be able to see. Not to be able to drive, not to be able to go places. Listen, all I'm concerned about is going to the house of God and going home. The other stuff doesn't matter. But if I can just open the word of God, and I can look on the pages of God and, and be able to read it again for myself. You know, I, 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 I want to I say to each and every one of you that can see, folk, read your Bible. Commit to your memory your Bible. Let your Bible be your guiding principle. And I want to tell you something. It'll consolate you, folks. I, 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 there, there's things that I started reading my Bible at 14 years old. I'll be 60 years old on the first day of January. And there's things that uh, when I'm sitting in darkness, God brings back to me. I can remember. But, but I, I, say, I say to myself, do I have the whole story? Uh, have I forgotten any? I would just be able to, I would just love to just read it where I can say, yes, I have the whole story. There is nothing forgotten. So I want to encourage you. Read your Bible. Stay with God. And wherever God leads you, it'll be all, it'll be okay. I, I won't tell you the devil didn't do some talking to me when it first happened. But then I remember a scripture that Pastor Jennings said on last night. In 1 Thessalonians 5, it says, in all things, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Whatever you do, stay with God, folks. Whatever happened to you, Stay with God. And I want to tell you this here. If you will stay with God, God in his loving kindness, he'll stay with you. I love you. Pray for me, please. I pray you in the name of the Lord Jesus. All right. We're so very, very grateful for the words coming from a uh, uh, Minister Campbell from Enid, Oklahoma. Do remember him in prayer as always, and uh, don't forget the words that he just spoke. Uh, we've come to the most important part of our worship, saints of God, that is hearing of the word of God. Uh, truly, we all are present before God to hear what God is going to tell us, so we want everybody to sit attentively at this time and listen to the word of God as it comes forth from our leader. Here now is our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger of the Almighty God, the Apostle, Pastor Gino Jennings. Pray I don't turn back, pray I don't turn back, Lord I've been so good, yes pray, yes. Yeah. Hey. 
brothers and sisters. We greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus, the most high God. We bear witness there is no God but one. And Jesus Christ is he. There is no God with him. No God besides him. No God greater than him. There's no God equal to him. God is perfect. God is infallible. And God don't have no flaws. <laughs> He's the God of Abraham. God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He led the children of Israel out of bondage and brought them over in the land of Canaan. Bondage represent the condition of the world. The land of Canaan represent New Jerusalem designed for God's people. Viewers, Moses represent Jesus. Moses said, God shall raise up a prophet like me. And him, not them, him shall you hear in all things. We're glad that the Lord is bringing us to the close of another year. And 2017 been a very good year for the truth of God. We're glad for all of our ministers from far and near and to the many brothers and sisters of the truth of God that is watching and listening around the world. This program is dedicated to all of you. We thank God moreover for the power that's in his word. And I'm glad for the day that God brought us out of darkness, opened up our understanding that we might understand the scriptures. Beautiful thing when you're not ignorant no more. I remember my ignorant days. You know when you're ignorant, you got to make a mess. You just have to do it. I don't care how sincere you are if you're ignorant. You have to make a mess, and you're going to make a whole lot of a mess. And a lot of time, you will call wrong right and right wrong. So we we'll take God until God opened up your understanding. When God opened up your understanding. He puts you on the straight path and puts you on the right path. Now, I want to just update the viewers and many of you that are here so much been going on this year I was thinking of earlier how the Lord sent storm after storm hurricane after hurricane wiped out towns wiped out cities wiped out villages and now he got California burning I don't care how much money you have, it's amazing how God can take everything you own. I was watching the news and whoever was driving the camera was pointing out of the window of the car and it showed the hills where California was burning. And then the news reporter was saying how the flames was going over to Bel Air. Well, all the mansions, and you found some wealthy folk taking water holes, wetting their house down, trying to get God to back up off of it. When God say burn, you're going to burn. Now, one thing about the fire that's burning now, you can put it out. If there's a fire coming, <laughs> glory to God. And uh, no fire company 
no truck, no hose. Got enough juice. Thank God to put this flame out. This flame going to be so great until the heavens, the word of God says, being on fire, shall melt. Thank God with fervent heat. The earth also and the works therein, glory to God, shall be burnt up. The apostle says, seeing that all these things shall dissolve, he asks the question, what manner of person should we be in all holy conversation? And godliness, looking for the hasting unto the coming of our God. That's what church is supposed to be about. Preparing you and I to meet God. Not to meet millions of dollars. Not to get a jet. Not to get a mansion. But to meet God. We've been traveling much again this year and I'm telling you brothers and sisters the God of heaven has been doing a sweeping good job we thank God for the new ministers that come along to work along with the truth of God from different parts of America as well as foreign countries we're glad for the many God willing, we'll give you the, the total where we're at so far. Of those that were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, I was, uh, as I mentioned, we was in Jamaica about three weeks ago in Kingston. And in three days' time, in fact, I think Friday night, 23 went down. Saturday night, 13 went down. Sunday morning, 36 more went down. Sunday night, Eight more went down. Eighty souls went down in three days. And the word of God, the word of God was hitting Jamaica so hard, folks was coming out of the water speaking in tongues. Amen. Sunday morning when we actually want to be baptized and the people came up to be baptized, one gentleman came up Holy Ghost fell on him and knocked him to his knees. He started speaking in tongue before he got to the water. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> the work of God is something that the devil hates. <clears throat> the Bible is God's tool to resurrect the conscience and the awareness of men and women. And God fixes his word. And man don't like it. You want to hear what evil and hatred is in a man? Bring him God's word. <laughs> eh? You bring that devil God's word. He'll cuss you out. And then say he's a Christian. You go to church, jump and shout before the word of God. And then right after the word of God preach, a cold spell will come on him. Thank God because the word of God just don't agree with us. It's against us. And the reason why God have his word against us so we can be transformed and be for him. God wants us to hate our own life. You know you don't want to hate your life, do you? Viewers, you don't hate your life now. But you will. You're going to work to God that you would have obeyed God quickly. By the time this message is aired, 2018 to be here. Somebody said, Pastor Jennings, how you know? It'll be here. Amen. God is not done yet. There's still things in the Bible that haven't came to pass yet. 
And it ain't going to come to pass. God ain't going to come first before his word come to pass. Some folks say the Lord could come tonight. No, he cannot. If God will come tonight, he will be a false God. I want to say what you say, i say it again. If God came tonight, he'll be a false God and a liar. Glory to God. I want to say, I can't say that, but I can. <laughs> yes, I can. Amen. The reason why I can, because God spoke. Huh? He said before he come, there must first, first, first be a great falling away. Hallelujah to God. He said when the tribulation of those days come. Thank God a sign. In the heavens. Of the coming. Of the son of man. He said but for the elect sake. That ain't come yet. And because that didn't come yet. God. He ain't coming yet. He ain't coming yet. There's an elect. Pulled right out of Abraham's offspring. 144,000. Each tribe is still 12,000. Thank God and for the elect sake. Those days of tribulation. Must be short. If he don't short. He said no flesh. Thank God would be saved. So he is not going to come before that. If he do, his word will be a lie. And God's word cannot be broken. That's why I'm able to say he ain't coming tonight. <laughs> Aren't you glad he ain't? <laughs> Aren't you glad he's not? Hallelujah. Yeah. When the Lord comes, you got to be ready for him. You can't be getting clean. You got to be clean. As it stands now, his mercy is upon the church. And the reason why he allowing the word to be preached so hard. So rough, so strong, as a warning to man. So man, when they stand before God, he won't have no excuse. You won't be able to tell God, I didn't know this. I didn't know that. That's why he said that it might be made known to the church, the manifold wisdom of God. God just will keep giving wisdom, giving wisdom. And the more wisdom he give, he just take away our excuse. Take away our excuse. The more revelation he bring, he take away our excuse. Hallelujah. The more knowledge he bring, he just keep taking away our excuse. Till he put it in the word, you're inexcusable, old man. Glory to God. So that's why in these last days, word of God is falling stronger than ever. And the devil, he's doing everything in his power to stop it. You will never be able to stop God. Now, I know some of you are going to write me and say, who this man think he is to say what God won't do. God says it's impossible for him to lie. Thank God. And if God say he cannot lie, what do you want me to do? I'm going to tell you God can't lie. Many preachers and many religions through the years have falsely predict God's arrival. Many. Jehovah Witnesses even done it. Men done it 19th century, 18th century, 17th century. So many religions took it upon themselves and said the Lord was coming. I can't think of this man, but I was researching some history years ago. I think it may have been over 100 and something years ago. 
there was this one false prophet who convinced his followers the Lord was coming. And they all put on white robes and came in an open field, standing waiting for the Lord to come. <laughs> they didn't even know the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ exists. They didn't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. And they didn't have a clue that Jesus Christ was God. Why would you stand in the field waiting for someone to come that you don't know? If I'm going to wait for him, I want to know him. And if I'm going to long for his coming, I want to be ready. If I'm not ready, I don't want him to come. If you're not ready, you want God to come for you? Talk back to me. So when these blind, ignorant men tell people that the Lord is coming today or tomorrow, or oh, I'll be glad when the Lord comes. Viewers and you that are here, if you have not repented of your evil, been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence or proof of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance, you don't want the Lord's coming. Glory to God. All right. Get your Bibles open. The book of pain. <laughs> it's the book of pain, too. To all of our viewers in Australia, we thank God for you. We greet all of you in New Zealand. Uh, the message has reached Dubai. And Dubai is crying out and wants to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we're looking and saying, uh, Brother Minister Simbali from the African island of Mauritius to fly him in Dubai and baptize all of those that want to be baptized and uh, get a chance to speak a good holy word to them. Yes, that the by when the Lord come, may be prepared to meet God. You know, people are writing by the thousands, and they're constantly coming, going down in the water in so many parts of the world, and God blessing the Holy Ghost to continue to fall, and somebody's writing me now and telling me the Holy Ghost, Speaking in tongue is over. <laughs> you wish. You know the reason why some folk want speaking in tongue is over because they don't have it. And if they get rid of it, they ain't got to wait for it. <laughs> but no, viewers, hard head, stubborn, wicked, New Year things. You got to be born again. And that's what I want to work on, being born again of the water, thank God and of the Spirit. Now, viewers, I know that most of you in the world have not been born again. And yet you say you're a Christian. I know that's what you believe in, that's what you think, and that's what you feel. Especially this time of year, you got a Christmas demon in you. Uh -huh. Christmas is a spell from hell that makes all devils feel well. Let me say it again. Christmas is a spell from hell that makes you feel well. <clears throat> You're happy this time of year. Certainly you are. Running around with eggnog and vodka. Vodka and orange juice. Shopping online for your second husband. Shopping online for your third wife. Mm -hmm. Trying to find you some rainbow underwear and you a homosexual. <laughs> Glory to God. Trying to buy a new wig. So-called Christian want to give a pack of cigars for a Christmas present. Are oh, you listening to what I'm telling you? The whole world needs to be born again. Now, I want you to get this.
brothers and sisters and viewers. There's God's way. And there's the way of men. The way of men is not God's way. In fact, it's opposite from the way of God. And this has been the problem for years. The world say you're born again, but you didn't get it God's way. You got it according to Billy Graham. You got it according to Harold Campton. You got it according to Peter Popoff. Yeah. You got it according to T.G. Snakes. Yeah. You got it according to Creffler O'Penny. Yeah. You got it according to Benny Hinn. Yeah. <laughs> but you didn't get it according to Jesus and his apostles. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Now, I want to give you some shocking news. All the men that I just mentioned have never, here, here, have never preached to be born again the right way. Nobody ever got saved at none of these fellas' crusades. Not one person came to Christ in Billy Graham's lifetime. That one! Or it take God, I know you don't like this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Not one! Not a man or a woman ever got saved under Benny Hinn. Not a man or a woman ever got born again since the Catholics had a pope. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Amen. Since the Catholics had a Pope, not one, Lord, it take God ever been born again, ever got saved. Even when Martin Luther broke off from the Catholics, started the Lutheran group, Nobody got born again. Episcopalians broke off. Nobody got born again. African Methodist Episcopals was formed. Nobody got born again. My God, I want you to thank viewer. Thank glory to God because the devil have used men for thousands and thousands of years. You would get upset with me <clears throat> and say, oh, you think your way is the only way right. Uh, that's the devil that trying to make you look at Pastor Jen. The devil wants you to look at me. That way, if you look at me, you will blame what I'm preaching on me and water down the truth. Don't credit me with something great as this. There is a way. You better give me that. Amen. I want to get Brother Solomon, son of David. And then we'll give the new birth. Amen. All right, give chapter and verse because I want the viewers to follow me. All right, viewer, you just watch this on YouTube and on all type of internet. There's so many... Uh, other internet program that hijacked our program and their people are watching it. Yes. Watching it. There's a boxer and mixed martial artist, Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Went down in water last week in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank God he, he, he feels this program up on his website and points the people to the truth of God message. Viewers, you need to be born again. Now let's go to work in the Bible and I want to take my time and strike this out scripture by scripture. Amen. Scripture by scripture. And uh, when you hear the scriptures, ignore Pastor Jennings. 
Ignore Pastor Jennings. Glory to God. And look at the scriptures. Amen. I don't care what color you are. Look at the scriptures. Your church ain't right because it's, a f it's full of black folk. Mm -mm. You still got to be born again, black man. Your church is not angelic because everybody in there is white. You still got to be born again, brother white man. Listen at this. Now in the book of Proverbs chapter 14 and at verse 12. Glory to God, we're just going to build with Bible all the way through. Amen. All right. Proverbs chapter 14 and we're at the 12th verse. Follow me. There is a way. Hmm. There is a way. Which seemeth right. No, that is right. Which seemeth right. Is right. Seemeth right. To who? Unto a man. What is the results of the seem right way? But the end thereof are the ways of death. Now, brothers and sisters, glory to God, I can labor there for many hours. God way is right. 100% right. Men way seems right. Seems right. One thing about the religion of men, it has two characteristics, the knowledge of good and the knowledge of evil. Because the religion of men is full of the wickedness of Satan. And Satan don't lie about everything. Satan tells truth and Satan tells lies. That's why he's called that old serpent, the devil. To better understand the viewers, if you ever <coughs> saw the tongue of a snake, it's split at the end. But it's one within him. But when he shoot it out, it's split. And let you know that Satan is divisive. He brings about confusion. Brings about a separation between you and God. And the devil give you beliefs that he don't have. Brother, if that's not deception, I don't know what it is. The devil give you beliefs he don't have. Let me give you an example, viewers. You believe there's three separate, distinct personalities in the Godhead. You believe that God is schizophrenic. <laughs> Devil don't believe in three. Bible said, if thou believest. Thou believest. Give chapter and verse. Now in the book of St. James chapter 2. I want to take my time and just build with Bible. That's it. All right. James chapter 2 and at verse 19. Uh -huh. Thou believest that there is one God. If you believe there is one God. Thou doest well. You do all right. The devils also wait, wait, believe. Wait, 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 now. Huh. What did it say? Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. And what? The devils also. Spell that. D-E-V-I-L-S. Oh. Devils. Every wicked spirit you can think of. Amen. They all believe. That's right. In one. That's right. And they believe in, their, in this one. What, what does it make them do? The devils also believe and tremble. They scared of this one. Right. Viewers, you believe in three and you don't tremble. Why well, you ain't scared? Amen. What's the matter with you? Yeah. Now, if man have a same right way, I want you to get this. It seem right to that man first and what have diluted man's way of thinking he study history philosophy Greek mythology hermeneutics different forms of science and he rely on other men wisdom and value what they say more than he value what the Lord said. 
as a result of such ignorance. Man declared to be other gods other than the one. Socrates, Zeus, Aristotle, all this Greek mythology and what the wisdom of men did challenged the reality of God. So men went in church business. Now viewers, what I'm about to atomize to you are some religions. I don't have time to name all of them. <clears throat> but some religions that were started by man and not by God. Now, viewers, I want you to get on the edge of your seat, get on the edge of your bed and listen closely. Turn the volume up, amen. I don't want you to burn your food, turn your eggs down, or run, flip them over, and come back. And the reason why I want you to do this, <clears throat> because we may call out one of these religions that you're in. <clears throat> now, we are the children of God. Bible says, have we not all one father? Has not one God created us? So if we have one father, then we should believe what God believes. And we should be what God is. Now viewers, men have started Baptists, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, non-denominational, Pentecostal, Mormon, five percenters. Men have started all this. Buddhists, the Catholic Church, Somebody wrote and said, Pastor Jennings is the real descendants from the Catholic Church. I didn't come from no Catholic Church. I came from God. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> God, I come from God, and at the appointed time, we'll go to God. Yeah. Lutheran, Presbyterian, Protestant, Christian science, Scientology. Yeah. All of this came from men. Now, I want to find out what did God command for everyone to be before he made the world. That's right. Ain't nobody religion can go back that far. That's nobody. Right. Nobody religion can go back that far at all. Right. Viewers, viewers, viewers. To prove that your religion came from some man, you got a date. Sometimes y'all have a celebration called Founders Day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then you know that, well, Mr. So-and-so founded it, started it, and it started some date. I want this to be good for you that claim you're apostolic. Mm -hmm. You said that the church started 33 AD. Bible ain't never said that. Cut that AD lying out. Bible ain't never tell you that. Bible never told you that the church started 33 AD. Bible never gave you a date when it started. Well, Pastor Jennings, when did the faith of Jesus Christ began and what date? Huh. That question is too deep. I don't know. Oh, no. Why don't I know? Because God have no beginning. Right. So what God believe have no beginning. That's right. God belief always was. That's right. God's belief. Always was. All right, let's go to work, Williams. Now in the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Follow me. And we're at verse 4. All right. According as he hath chosen us in him. According to as he. He. He who? God. 
have chosen us in him. them. Him. All right, church of God in Christ, I want you to get this because I'm not going to leave you alone. Amen. I'm not going to leave you alone. Amen. You people that are watching and got this them and Trinity and all of that bundle of trash that came out of hell. Amen. The Bible says, according to as he has chosen us. In him. In him. him. One. Right. Before what? Before the foundation of the world. Wait a minute. He chose us before he made everything. Before the foundation of the world. And what did God purpose for us to be? That we should be holy. Now, if God say we should be holy, should be. that's telling you and I, he purposed for us to be like him. That's right. Now, viewers, Adam fell. And when Adam fell, sin made an introduction into the world. And man been sinning ever since. And man is still sinning. That's right. You're smoking, you're drinking, you're gambling, and you made your New Year's resolution, and you're partying. Some of you are getting ready. You still got a hangover from your party. You got your tree. You get ready to set your Christmas tree outside. Hey Amen. So the trash man can pick your lie up and throw it away. <laughs> but you're still not born again. Think of it. You're elders, you're bishops, you are deacons, you're so-called missionaries, and yet you're not born again. You got choirs, you got orchestras, you got so-called Christian concerts, you got Christian comedians, so-called. Me and my wife met with some of the saints for breakfast, I think it was yesterday or the day before, and uh, some folks recognized who I was, and the gentleman came over. He was very polite. He said, are you Pastor Jennings? I said, yes, sir. And he said, uh, my relative, I think it was his wife or aunt or somebody, watched you on television. He gave me his card. He said, I do clean comedy. Mm. <laughs> Amen. He said, he said, I do clean comedy. And uh, he said, if you ever... Want a comedian down at your church? No, I will not. <laughs> I don't want no comedian in here. Or that God is enough religious jokesters as it is. That's right. Eh? That's right. God is not mocked. That's right. Or that God, here I am laboring to get people to God. We don't have time for some so-called clean comedy. Clean comedy. <laughs> no, 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 not here. The world must be born again. All these religions set up by the devil is keeping you a sinner. You see how it's keeping you a sinner. The preachers don't preach against your sin. So therefore, men and women have became very comfortable. Very comfortable. Very relaxed. Until sin is no longer called sin. Fools make a mock at sin. Do you hear this? Now in the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, and at verse 9. Fools make a mock at sin. Who do it? Fools. Fools don't take sin sincerely. No. Fools make a mockery of it. That's right. It doesn't bother them. No. It doesn't bother your so-called Jerry Carrollhead reverend. No. To take a few drags on his joint. Before he pull up to the steeple of that church. That's right. It doesn't bother your trustee board when they hire a comedian and pay him so he can perform in the church Friday night. That's right. It doesn't bother the churches when a bunch of half naked men and women get up in the pulpit and make it a place of entertainment, a stage Amen. of performance, and you call it praise dancers. Amen. You make a mockery of it. Mock. It don't bother you. When you can let your rainbow flag wave freely on your church and a dyke is a woman preacher 
Am I right, I said? What did the Bible say? Fools make a mock at sin. They don't bother you television stations. You that own NBC, ABC, Cable, Cox, Comcast, Netflix, Fios. It don't bother you to show movies with two dirty, no good, rotten, ugly men bouncing on each other. Am I right? It don't bother you. No. What if God said? Fools make a mock at Who sin. Who does? Fools. Fools. That got you, Trump. Trump. Fools. What if God says what? Fools make a mock at Who sin. Who do it? Fools. Who do it? Fools. Don't tell me that's not Trump. Trump is a fool. That's a fool. I remember I said that on one broadcast and somebody wrote me and laid me out and <laughs> quote me the scripture, uh, don't call your brother a fool or you're endangered in hell. That man ain't my brother. That man ain't my brother. I say to you like Jesus said, who is my brother, my sister, and my mother? But he that do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same, hallelujah, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. Trump is a fool. Fools. Amen. Cameras show him in some make-believe church. He ain't in no church. He's in a fool's palace. That's right. That's no church. That's right. That's right. If you Democrats and Republicans truly believed in God, you will not ever pass no bill and make it law that challenge the wisdom of God. You rich politicians will not pass bill and make laws just to make your wallets fat. When the Bible says the poor, you have with you always. So the God says about the rich, charge them. Glory to God. <laughs> yeah? All right, Trump, this is for you and all you rich folk in America. God says, charge them that do you, are, do you hear this? In 1 Timothy chapter 6 and at verse 7. Says what? Charge them. Do what? Charge them. Warn them. That are rich in this world. That what? That they be not high minded. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You rich folk, <laughs> you're so arrogant and proud. You throw a few pennies to some charitable organization. Just, and you don't mean it. No. And you just doing it for a tax write off. If you organizations really cared about your community, why in the world you wait all the way to December just to give out food? And here these folks been hungry all year long. You're a bunch of hypocrites. Get me? I'm hungry in January, and I gotta wait till December just to eat. Glory to God, glory to God. Charge them. Charge them. That are rich in this world. Glory to God, that are rich right here. That they be not high-minded. That you don't be high-minded. Don't be beside yourself. And. Nor trust. You shouldn't trust. In uncertain riches. In what you own. That's right. That's right. All the money you got is uncertain. Amen. Don't say, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. I got a sure thing. There's only one sure thing. And God is he. God is he. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. There's a way that seemeth right. Seem right unto man. Now, but, viewers, because what you have seemed right to you, the devil make you mad at holiness. 
Same right to you to have that woman get up preaching. Same right to you to have raffle tickets in church. Same right to you to wear your finger rings and fake fingernails and paint your toenails and arch your eyebrows and put on horse hair for eyelashes and amen, put on doggy hair for ponytails and amen, put on some other animal's hair for bangs. Uh -huh. Glory right. to God. That, that seemed right to you. Seemed right. Seem right to that man to put on his mama's shoes. Yeah. Huh? Seemed right. It seemed right to that fellow to get up and preach a cheap trial sermon just so he can appease his bishop. Seem right to the colonel mind. Now, seem right versus what is right. All of your religious belief, viewers, viewers, here, 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 all of your religious beliefs got to come out of here. From start to finish, That's right. it got to come out of here. All right, let's see how many water baptisms is in the Bible. Now, viewers, you hard-haired church-going sinners that is upset with me right now, but yet you're still at the television claiming you're saved. You went to your Baptist church this morning and you went to your girlfriend's Methodist church this afternoon and you're on your way to your so-called Pentecostal church tonight and you're still not saved and you still haven't been born again. Let's look at and investigate water baptism. Now there's only three water baptisms in the Bible. Three water baptisms in the Bible. Let's get the first one with Brother Moses. First in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Parliament. And we're at verse 2. All right, begin at verse 1. At verse 1. Come on, son. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant. Moreover, television viewers, YouTube watchers, internet listeners. Moreover. Moreover, brethren, I would that ye should be We don't ignorant. want you to be dumb. How that all our fathers were under all the cloud. All our fathers was under the cloud. And all passed Thank through the God sea. Thank God and all passed through the sea. And were all baptized. All was baptized. Unto Moses. Unto Moses. In the cloud. In the cloud in the sea. And in the sea. And what? And did all eat the same spiritual meat. And? And did all drink the same spiritual drink. What happened? For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed Who them. was that rock that was with Israel? And that rock was Christ. Glory to God. Back in the days of Moses, they was baptized in the cloud, in the sea. Well, that didn't help them. Yeah. Baptism number one with water. God Almighty manifests himself in flesh. The body of the Son of Man, that begotten body of the Son of God, that flesh and blood that came from the womb of Mary, came example for the whole world. The body was that example. The body was like a puppet. I want this to be good because I remember when I threw that statement out, my God, some mandate, they hit the ceiling. Jesus, Jesus wasn't like no puppet, you fool. Jesus was just like a puppet. Listen, a puppet is that which was created by the master and controlled by the master and can do nothing on its own. Yeah? Hallelujah to God. Jesus said, I do nothing of myself, but as my father dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. In fact, he said, as my father hath taught me, I speak these things. So Jesus done nothing on his own. The flesh and blood did not do anything on its own. It preached when the spirit made it preach. It walked on water when the spirit made it walked on water. It done nothing on its own. Just like a puppet. So his body was an example. The body was the mediator. The mediator was son of man. 
Son of man was son of God. Son of God was son of David. Son of David was the man child. The man child was the rod that came out of Jesse's stem. Jesse's stem was the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God was the only begotten of the Father. And what was in that body was full of grace and truth. Are you listening? He left us a perfect, perfect example. You want to make sure that you do it right. So here comes John the Baptist. Baptizing down there in Jordan. Then cometh Jesus. Listen. Now in the book of St. Matthew chapter 3. I hope you can get this. And we're at verse 13. Yes. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John. And to be baptized of him. To be baptized of him. But John forbade him. Yeah. John saw his greatness. That's right. Because John preached, I'm not the light. That's right. I come to bear witness of the light. That's right. John preached one coming after me. And he's mightier, stronger, greater than I. And when he get here, he's going to baptize you. Right. Thank God with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. Right. Uh -huh. All right. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John. Yes. To be baptized of him. Uh -huh. But John forbade him. John forbade him. Saying, I have I need to need, be baptized of thee. You see how great John knew he was. That's right. That's right. I need to be baptized of you. And, and comest thou to me? Jesus, you coming to me? And Jesus answered. All right, said unto viewers, him, get this because this is water baptism number two. That's right. Jesus said to John, "Suffer it to be so now." John, ain't no need talking. Right. You might as well allow it. That's right. The reason why you got to allow it for what reason? For thus it becometh us. It become who? Us. Who? Us. Who? Us. To do what? To fulfill all righteousness. All right, viewers. Mm -hmm. Jesus told John, "It become us, you and I." Fulfill what's right. So when I see him fulfilling what's right, I see a man baptizing. Why are you folk being baptized by some woman? That's not fooling. That's not fulfilling all righteousness. All righteousness. All righteousness. Get me, get me, get me, get me, you stubborn thing, you. For thus it you, you, you us. said, Pastor Jennings, that's male chauvinism. No, Jesus said. Thus it Jesus us, said, and Jesus it become us, 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 oh, it take God, it become us, to fulfill all righteousness, to fulfill how much, all righteousness, wait a minute, got to fulfill how much, all righteousness, all right, let's, let's see what other right thing right there was being fulfilled, when Jesus got baptized, he didn't let just anybody do it, no, no, John was born with the Holy Ghost. That's right. So viewers, That's right. why are you letting people baptize you with the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost. That don't fulfill all righteousness. All righteousness. That fulfill all wrong. That's right. That's right. All right, let's investigate and see what other righteousness happened right there. Then come and hold it. Mm -hmm. John was preaching yeah, yeah. with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Preacher, why in the world are you in the pulpit right. right. and you don't have the Holy Ghost? We got to fulfill how much? All righteousness. You got to fulfill all of it. All of it. Thus it become us to fulfill all righteousness. Then what? Then he suffered it. Then he did it. And Jesus, when he was baptized. Jesus, when he was baptized. Went up straightway out of the water. Now, uh, now hold it. Hmm. Jesus didn't need baptism. Viewers, I want you to get this. There wasn't nothing, there wasn't nothing wrong with Jesus. He didn't have no sin. He was infallible. He was perfect. The reason why he done it, 
to teach us what must be done, That's right. how it must be done. Leaving us an example. Listen at this. Now in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, and we're at verse 21. I just want to take my time. You know, old country men sometimes sit on the porch and they take a stick and a little knife. Just whittle it down. That's right. I want to whittle the scriptures down. That's right. Eh? That's right. Till, it, till it's so sharp, I point you right to water. Amen. Eh? Amen. What is it? First Peter chapter 2, we're at verse 21. Come on, son. For even hereunto were ye called. Even hereunto were ye called. Because Christ also suffered for us. Yes. Leaving us an example. Why did he do these things? That ye should follow his steps. Now, viewers. You would say, well, if he left us an example, that means we got to go to Jordan. No. And we got to be baptized in a river. The location wasn't the example. What Jesus done was the example. Not the location. Hmm? It wasn't the location. No. Glory to God. It was what he done. So Jesus got baptized, and after he got baptized, he came straight way up out, out of, of the water. water. All right, there's some righteousness there. Catholics. Mm. Catholics. Amen. Uh, hallelujah to God on high. Go ahead. Go, eh? ahead. Go, ahead. Go ahead. Jesus came straight, straight way, way out. Of out. The water. out For of you the water. to come straight way out, you got to go in. That's right. So he wasn't sprinkled. No. I want it to be good for you Hollywood producers who always make these fake movies about the Bible. Right. And then you got some fella down in Jordan right. sprinkling folk. That's right. They had one movie where some crazy fella supposed to be in John took water, scooped it in his hands, and dumped it on the... I said lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. And Jesus, when he was baptized. Do you hear the Bible talking? In Matthew 3 and at verse 16. And Jesus. When he was baptized. When he was baptized. Went up straightway out of the water. No, John poured water on him. Went up, and Jesus, when he was baptized, went straightway up out of the water. Sprinkle. When he was baptized. Sprinkle. He was baptized. What else happened? Went up straightway out of the water. No, he was sprinkled. He didn't come out. Went up straightway out of the water. Out of it? Out of the water. Halfway out. Straightway. Pause. Straightway. Out of the water. Catholics. 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 Amen. All of you. Not one. Pope. Archbishop. Altar boy. Priest. Yeah. Catholic member. Not one was baptized right, That's right since the Catholic Church exists. That's right. Not one. Not one. You better give me the book of Romans. In son. Romans chapter 6, and we're starting yeah. at verse Wait, 1. What, what, what book is this? Roman. Romans. Who? Who? What book is this? Romans. Who? Romans. I'm going right to Rome. Right to Rome. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. I'm going right to Rome. That's right. That's right. Hey Amen. I'm going right to Rome, Italy. That's right. Thank God where the Apostle Paul went. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. The Apostle Paul went on down to Rome. Yeah. And this letter here was written by Tertullius, the servant of God, right. but preached by the Apostle Paul, the messenger of God. That's right. What did he say? What shall we say then? What? What shall we say then? Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Hallelujah. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound. God, God forbid. forbid. How, How shall we? That are dead to sin. That are dead to sin. any longer therein. No, you're not. That so many of us. So many were, of us. As were baptized into Jesus Christ. We was baptized where? Into Jesus Christ. What happened? Were baptized unto his death. How must that baptism be done? Therefore we are buried with him. By baptism. Into death. Amen. Hey, brother, stand. Do me a favor, brother. Go upstairs and bring me a cup of water real quick. Quickly, brother. Quickly, quickly. Come on, give me a cup of water. Quickly. I want it to be good for you Catholic folk. Amen. Amen. You're too rich to get your whole wicked body in water. That's right. You thought you got saved because you had a newborn baby and you got your baby dressed up in white and you brought it to a pervert posing as a priest. <laughs> Am I right? 
brought it to a pedophile posing as a priest and uh, took your baby and sprinkled some water on it. Yeah. Do any, how, how many, any sisters here got a, got a little baby? How many, any sisters in the house got a baby? Raise your hand. Does anybody in here with a baby? Anyone? You have a baby? Come on up, sister. Bring your baby up here. You come with it. Come on. Bring her through the middle aisle. Let her come through the middle aisle. Amen. Come on through the middle aisle. You brothers, make sure she come through that area safely, will you please? Come on, sister. Bring the baby. Glory to God. Amen. You brothers, help her step over through there. Watch your step. Get her arm. Don't touch the leg. Just get her arm and help her through there. Watch your step, sister. There you go. How old is the child? God bless your beautiful heart, little one. You're holding on to mommy. Glory to God. Now, you Catholics. You Catholics. I want, you, I want to get a nice bird's eye view. So if you can take that camera up so it can look downward. I, I don't want to mix nothing. Now, this is what you do, Catholics. You bring your newborn child and you bring it before a priest and you got a big bowl and upright bowl and you looking for that bowl too? <laughs> and you say you want your child to get baptized. Now remember, this is what the Bible says. Therefore we are buried. Give, give chapter and verse. Romans chapter 6 and at verse 4. It says what? Therefore we are buried with him. How? By baptism. We are what? Death. By baptism. We are what? Therefore we are buried with him. How? By baptism. Now, you preachers, you're hard here. You Catholic fellas are stubborn and hard here. The Bible said be buried. But this is what you do. Take a little thing of water. You see a little baby? In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. <coughs> you looking at me like something is wrong, aren't you? <laughs> Go ahead, sister. Watch your step through there, sister. Now, think of it. Millions. Millions. Millions have got wet, not baptized. They just got partially wet that way. Now, Catholics, you brag and say you are the original descendants of the apostolic church. That's the famous quote. They are the original descendants of the apostolic church. Descended from the apostles. You are liars. The apostles followed Jesus' example. Second water baptism, Jesus and John. John took them down, straightway come up. Nobody got sprinkled. Are you baptized yet, Williams? <laughs> Not baptized yet. Viewers, nobody. Got sprinkled. <laughs> Am I right, man? Yeah. Nobody. That's the religion of men. Seem right. The Bible says, let God be true. And every man a liar. Even if that man hides under religion, if that man contradicts God, the Lord of the world, he is a liar. A liar. Moses was first baptized in the cloud and the sea. 
first water baptism, yeah. second water baptism, Jesus come to John, John baptized Jesus, Jesus straightway come up out the water. Final and last water baptism. Water baptism. Final and last water baptism. That's right. Matthew 28, 28 19. 19. 19. Matthew 28. I, I have verse. to go there before I go to Acts 2 38. <laughs> because the world have erred. Glory to God. Glory to God. Human family, you have erred. Thousands of, just the Catholics alone, the millions of nuns and priests, them that die, never baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and never spoke another tongue as the Spirit of God give utterance. Pope after Pope after Pope, liar after liar after liar. <laughs> Generations of deception. Generations of lies. Third and final water baptism. All right, follow me in your Bible, viewers. Follow me, follow me. Hey, 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 sister, go get your boyfriend. Get your boyfriend. Get your boyfriend. Get your boyfriend. Hey, bishop, call your deacon. Sister, call your husband. Because you just got baptized last week, last month, last year, the wrong way. Some of you watching me now, you just got sprinkled. Not that long ago. You didn't come up out of no water. You didn't even go in water. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. There ain't no baptism. Not even your whole head get wet. Glory to God, if you fight this, you got to be a hypocrite and a heathen and an unbeliever of scriptural truth. That's right. All right, son, what did he say? Matthew 28 and at verse 19. All right. Go ye therefore. Here come Jesus, who was God manifested in the flesh. In order for us to be saved, the great God, glory to God. Shiloh. Glory to God, glory to God. Balaam said, Behold, I shall see him, but not now. I shall look upon him, but not nigh. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. and going to smite the corners of Moab and destroy the children of Seth. And when he arrive, he's going to possess Edom. He's going to take Edom as a possession. So God Almighty come here, manifested himself in the flesh. God did not become flesh. Bible said, without controversy, great is the mystery of Godness. God was manifested in the flesh. What do you mean, manifest in it? He walked in it. Talked in it. Preached in it. Worked signs and wonders in it. Walked on water in it. All in what? Flesh. Like my suit would be the flesh. But I would be the spirit in the flesh. When the spirit moves, suit moves. My suit can do nothing of itself. Glory to God. The body of flesh and blood could do nothing of itself. So he come along and left an example. Preached to the apostles. Die, glory to God, and hung there on the cross. Darkness hit creation from the sixth to the ninth hour. The world, the earth trembled and shook. Thank God until the temple ripped from top to bottom. Glory to God, and when he died, amen, they, they already broke the legs of the thieves. But when they came to Jesus to break his legs, didn't touch him. He was Dead already. Thank God. So they pissed him in his side. They just had to do it. For he said in the days of old, they shall look upon me whom they have pissed. 
Amen. He said, they pissed my hands and my feet. Do it. Let the habitations be desolate and don't let nobody dwell in their tents. That which had been for welfare, let it become a trap. So when he died, they laid the body in the grave. The third day, Hallelujah. glory to God, God, Hallelujah. Jehovah, I am that I am. Elohim, Yahweh, El, the ancient of days, stepped in the grave. Glory! God is Glory to God and resurrected. When he came back the third day, he wanted to remind his apostles of what he taught. He said, these are the words that I speak unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled. He said that are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Hold it! Anytime you claim salvation in a way that's not written, it's only because God did not open your understanding. Now, viewers, churches, 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 I want you to follow me. Follow me good because I got a question for you after he read this. Matthew 28 and verse 19. Give chapter verse again. Matthew 28 and verse 19. Lord, thank God, this is a good doctrine, you know. Oh, yeah. All right. Go ye therefore. What? Go ye therefore. Hallelujah. Go. Get going. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Lord, thank God. Get, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get going. Hallelujah. Amen. When he sent the apostles out, he sent them all out with the same thing. Same thing. Hallelujah. Eh? hallelujah. Amen. They went out with the same thing. No one started some other religion. No. They was taught of Jesus That's right. and kept those teachings going. That's right. Jesus said what? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Wait a minute. Teach just white folk. Teach all nations. <laughs> Somebody wrote me and said, I only see a few black people in your congregation. What's up with that? It ain't nothing up with it. That's right. Listen, listen. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you bigot viewers. If I was white, my whiteness wouldn't make me right. No more than my blackness make me wrong. The only thing that makes you right is God. Your color ain't got nothing to do with it. I don't let, let you, you, my white viewers that watch us by the thousands. Don't you go to a church because the preacher is white and all the congregation is white. There ain't no reason. Black viewers, you don't go to no church and become a member of some fake church because the preacher is white and talk about, or rather the preacher is black and talk about black nationalism and everybody else is black. That's no reason. Don't you know heaven and earth gonna pass away? And every black and white man with it. That's right. I'm not preaching black. No. I'm not preaching white. No. I'm preaching right. That's it. Get right. That's it. That's right. Get me. Go ye therefore. Go ye therefore and teach therefore, all nations. Thank God and teach how much? All nations. All nations. One language says teach all people. That's right. All nations. Do what? Baptizing them in the name. Ah, look at here. Look at here. Do what now? Baptizing them in the name. In the name. Of the Father. In the name. In the name. In the name. In the name. In the N-A-M-E. That's right. Of the Father. Not in the M-A-N-E-S. No. Not in the N-A-M-E-S. No. But in the N-A-M-E. In the name. The name of the Father. Of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Now, viewers, sinners, you that claim you saved, you that claim you're born again. Did the apostles obey Jesus and went into all the world doing what he said? What he said. 
That's the question. Church of God in Christ. Church of God in prophecy. Church of the living God. Church of Christ. So-called Pentecostals. All of you that baptize using the words Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Jesus did not say baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Jesus didn't say that. No. Read clearly and give chapter and verse again. Matthew chapter 28 and at verse 19. Get me. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Go and teach everything. Baptizing them. You see, that's what the world need, teaching. Teach. You've got all these infidels having performances in churches and jokers in churches and comedy clubs in churches. That's why the churches are just as blind and dumb and full of unbelief. Nobody's teaching the word of God there. That's right. Huh? That's right. Go ye therefore and do what? And teach all nations. And? Baptizing them in the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Now, if it says do it in the name. The name. Of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. You can't do it in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Unless you know the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Right. Now, infidels were said, you see, Pastor Jennings, what William just read was the Trinity. You was a lie. Ain't no Bible said that. The Bible said that. Ain't no Bible said that. That's your lying mouth. That's right. That's, that's, that's your lying mouth. That's right. The Bible says do it in the name. Now. Let's see the name of the Father. Acts chapter we all must agree, God is the Father. Right. Bible says, have not all one Father, have not one God created us. Yeah. So God is our Father. Yeah. Amen. So let's see uh, by what name should we call on God. Acts chapter the 7. The Father. Mm -hmm. Follow me. Acts chapter 7, and we're at verse 59. All right. And they stoned Stephen. Follow me in your Bible, viewers. Acts chapter 7. Viewers, and verse get your Bible. Viewers, viewers, internet watchers, YouTubers. That's right. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. That's right. Get your Bible. Amen. You can write me and cuss me out and refer me to any renowned bishop that you want. Billy Graham have never been saved. Right. Glory to God. Glory to God. I said Billy Graham. At Morris Sorella, never, never been seen. Joel Austin, these are nothing but mega church sinners. That's right. It's not a human on the earth that's born again unless you got it like the Bible says it. That's right. Yeah? That's right. What did he say? Acts chapter 7 and verse 59. All right, let's get the name of the Father. And they stoned Stephen. They stoned Stephen. Calling upon God. Calling upon G-O-D-S. Calling upon G-O-D. No, calling upon the Trinity. Calling upon God. G-O-D. G-O-D-S. G-O-D. G-O-D-S. G-O-D. Read that right. Calling upon God. G-O-D. They stoned Stephen calling upon God by what name? And saying, Lord Jesus. What, what did Stephen call God? Lord Jesus. What did Stephen call God? Lord Jesus. That established what we've been preaching, that Jesus Christ is God. That's right. Somebody write me and ask me, Pastor Dennis, give me direct scripture that Jesus Christ is God. All right, I give you one that's just as strong. I preach that Jesus Christ is the great God and our Savior. That's right. I preach that. Titus. I preach that Jesus Christ is the great God. That's right. And he's our Savior. Titus chapter 2. Give me Titus 2.13. And at verse 13. All right. Looking for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Looking for. What are we doing? Looking for. Yeah. We know who we're looking for. That's right. Looking for. That blessed hope. That blessed hope. And the glorious appearance. The glorious appearance. Of the great God. Of the great God. And our Savior. And what else is he? And our Savior. What's his name? Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Looking for. Looking for that blessed hope. Hallelujah. And the glorious appearance. We're looking for. Hallelujah. We're looking for. Looking for. Now, that you that believe, you that believe is three. When Jesus Christ appeared. Where the other two going to be? That's right. Where the other two going to be? That's right. Because Paul said the Lord himself, himself 
shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and the dead in Christ shall rise. Who did the Bible call Jesus? Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of Wait a the minute. great God. The glorious appearing of who? Of the great God. And there's only one great God. That's right. You don't have two great gods. That's right. You better not tell me we got more than one great God. Amen. Uh -huh. Of the great God. And what? And our Savior. Tell all creation the name of the great God and the name of the Savior. Jesus Christ. Who is it? Jesus Christ. Who is it? Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 That's so wonderful. Now, viewers, the name of the great God is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Now, let's see the name that the son had. Now in the book of St. Luke chapter 1. Uh -huh. And at verse 31. Yes. And behold. Hallelujah. Look. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. And bring forth a son. What? And shalt call his name Jesus. Well, Pastor Jennings, right there it's two. What was it? Two Jesus? Mm. Because God, the great God said he's Jesus. That's right. And when that body of flesh and blood was born. The angel named it Jesus. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, I'm confused. No. That means it's two names. Give me Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 14 and we're at verse 9. Let's see how many names God has. Zechariah You see, 14. we got to build all this with Bible. That's right. Let's see how many names do God have. Zechariah chapter 14 and we're right at verse 9. That's right. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. The Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day. What? In that day. And after you finish that, we're going to go to the arrival of that day. Right. In that day shall there be one Lord. How many? One Lord. How many? One Lord. And how many names you gonna have? And his name one. All right, let's go to book of Luke. Luke chapter two. Glory to God. And let's see that one name. Luke chapter two, and we're right at verse twenty. What it says. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, yes. his name his name was called Jesus. How long did the name exist? Before and the Lord shall be king over all the earth. Now, go back to Luke 2.21. What when, did he say? And when eight days were accomplished. When eight days was accomplished. For the circumcising of the child. What happened? His name was called Jesus. How long did it exist? Which was so named of the angels. When? Before. When? Before. When? Before. When? Before. When? Before. Before what? He was conceived in the womb. Before. Before he was conceived in the womb. Before there was a body. That's right. Jesus was here. That's right. Glory to God. Before there was flesh and blood. Before he was conceived. Jesus was here. That's right. That's right. When he made flesh and blood, the flesh and blood just inherited the name of God Hebrews chapter and one. the flesh and blood inherited the title of God That's right. and the flesh and blood inherited the power of God That's right. and the flesh and blood inherited the righteousness of God That's right. and the flesh and blood inherited the duties of God and the flesh and blood inherited the function of God and the flesh and blood inherited the name of God. That's right. That's why he said, I come. That's right. He didn't come in the name Joseph. No, no. I come. In my father's name. In my father's name. My father's name. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And glory to God. Baptize them. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. Now, viewers, Matthew 28, 19, there was no baptism being performed there. None. They were simply being told what to do and how to do it. Jesus was laying the foundation. Letting them know what to do. Died and come on back. Giving them final instructions. That's right. Another place he told them that repentance and remission of sins. It should be preached in his name. A 
among all nations, but I want you to start at Jerusalem. Yeah? Started at Jerusalem. at Jerusalem. Thank God and amen. He gave the commandments to his apostles. Told them the former treaties, have I made of Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach until the day which was taken up. After that, he through the Holy Ghost gave the commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, by whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but wait, wait, stay there and tarry until the promise comes, which says, you heard of me. The apostles stayed there. Now, the apostles went to Jerusalem after he told them to baptize Father, Son. He told them to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. After that teaching, he told them, I want you to start in Jerusalem. You go to Jerusalem and you start there. You start baptizing there and you start preaching there. That's right. But when you're baptized, I want you to do it in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. When you hit the streets of Jerusalem and start preaching, but before you can preach, you got to have power. That's right. Huh? That's right. Before you can preach, they got to have power. On the day of Pentecost, hallelujah. Yeah, the Holy Ghost come. Hallelujah. Here comes the Holy Ghost. Sound come from heaven. As a rushing mighty wind. Fill all the house. Glory to God. Yeah, when they were sitting. Paid unto them cloven tongues, hallelujah. Like fire. Set on each of them. They was all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues and the spirit gave utterance. Yeah. People thought they were drunk. Peter said, we're not drunk like you think. It's too early. It's only the third hour of the day. Well, Peter, do you know what's going on? This is that. Certainly I do. This is that. This is Thank you well, Tony. Hallelujah. 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 This is that. This is that. That Joel talked about. That's right. Give me Joel, son. Amen. Joel said in the last days. Amen. It shall come to pass. Amen. He gonna pour out the spirit upon all flesh. Your sons. And it shall come to pass. And your daughters. That's right. Shall, shall prophesy. prophesy. Your old men. Old men. Shall dream dreams. Shall dream dreams. Your young men. Young men. Shall see visions. Shall see visions. And also. I'll do story. What is that? And also upon the servants. Upon my servants. And upon the handmaids. And upon my handmaids. In those days. In those days. Will I pour out of my spirit. Pour out. On the day of Pentecost. Was when Joel was fulfilled. This is that. That scripture was not talking about women getting in the pulpit. No, no. Can I realize that? Yeah. <coughs> That's right. United Pentecostal. That's right. P-A-W. You women preachers quote Joel, Joel. that God gonna pour the spirit upon all flesh. flesh. And you lie yeah. and say that was prophecy that women can preach. No. Let's see where it was fulfilled. Now in Acts chapter 2 and at verse uh, 16. Acts 2, 16. But this is that. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Begin at Acts 2, 15. At 2, 15. All right. For these are not drunken as you suppose. He's not drunk like you think. Seeing is but the third hour of the day. What's going on there down there in Jerusalem? But this is that. This is that. Which was spoken by the prophet Joel. That was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass. Peter letting you know all this carrying on, speaking in tongues. And the wonderful work of God. Yeah. This is what Joel prophesied about. That's this right. is that. This is that. No woman got up on the day of Pentecost no. and said, God called and sent me to preach the gospel. No. 
There was no woman bishops. There were no woman evangelists. Right. There were no woman apostles. Right. There were no woman elders. Right. And there were not no woman deacons. Right. And there's not a woman in that Bible call herself a missionary. That's right. This is that. This is that which was Lord, spoken God, by the prophet And we can Joel. say the same thing. This is that. This is that. Glory to, it's still that. That's right. It hasn't changed. That's right. Glory to God. What did he say? But this Glory is that God. which was spoken Hallelujah. by the prophet Joel. This is that that was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass it in the last day. It shall come to pass in the last in day. In the last day. Saith God. Saith God. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. No, I'm going to pull out my spirit upon all women make them preach. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And what? And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Uh -huh. And your young men shall see visions. All right. And your old men shall dream dreams. All right, now let's move on to Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. And begin at verse mm -hmm. 36. At Acts chapter 2 and verse 36. Now, viewers, viewers, you out there got baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Come here, Carter. <coughs> you all right, brothers. Went to your Baptist church, the Pentecostal church. You went to Billy Graham, Benny Hinn, Creflo Dollar, Joel Austin, all these weak, feeble, good-for-nothing things that pose as TV preachers, and they are nothing more than motivational speakers. And what they motivate you to do is to be broke. They don't motivate you to be saved or get a Bible salvation. They motivate you to give your money to make them richer and richer and you become poor and poor. This is the way 99.9 .9 of all you folk are baptized. You're getting in the water, including Charles Stanley. Charles, 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 I heard you preach this, Charles. I was watching you one Sunday morning and you even demonstrated. You had some men in the baptismal pool of your church. And they baptized and said in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now, viewers, let's go to school. Who do you know named Father? Who do you know named Son? God is the Holy Ghost, but that's not his name. That's a function. So, viewers, when the preacher say, I therefore baptize this candidate. He's telling you he's going to do it. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the blessed Holy Ghost. Then he baptize you and bring you up. You just wet. In fact, the preacher lied to you. He told you he's going to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He took you down and brushed you up and never did it. So don't get out the water yet. That's right. Don't get out the water. Stay there. And if you want to know what you're waiting for, tell him, Mr. Preacher, you said you're going to baptize me in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Well, 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 young man, what you waiting for? I'm waiting for you to say that name. That name. Because there's one name that's given among men. Be it known unto you. Do you hear? Now in Acts chapter 4, we're starting at verse 10. Says what? Be it known unto you all. Be it known unto everybody. And to all the people of Israel. And what? That by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No, the title, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Title, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What? Whom ye crucified. What happened? Whom God raised from the dead. Now, viewers, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are titles. I'm a father. I'm a son. I'm a husband. I'm a fighter, I'm a preacher, I'm a wrestler, I'm a boxer, I'm a crippler. Lord, thank God, I love to cripple the enemy with the word of God. But I got a name. Your pastor got titles. False prophet. 
Glory to God. But he got a name. If somebody tell you do something in their name, you're not going to call title. So all of you that were baptized, and the preacher said, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And then said, are we doing what Jesus did? You did not. No, no. Matthew 28, 19 was fulfilled in Acts chapter 2. Verse 38. Notice what it says. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. What is it? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Catholics, I want you to get this by God's permission. Who was talking? Peter. Your first pope. That's right. According to you. Peter. According to you, Mr. Catholic, mm -hmm. Peter was your first pope. You don't believe that. No. You lie. You don't believe that because if you believe that, all you popes will get married. That's right. Where they God, Peter was a married man. That's right. The Bible said Jesus helped his mother-in-law. And you don't get a mother-in-law from crocheting. No. You got to marry some woman's daughter. That's right. Listen. Then Peter said unto them. All right, viewers. Amen. Viewers, I want you to compare your salvation with the Bible. That's right. Not compare it with Geno Jennings. No. Compare it with the Bible. Right. Follow me. You sitting at YouTube. You sitting at the radio. You sitting at television. Follow me in your Bible. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. Acts two and verse thirty eight. Follow me in your Bible. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. Amen. Follow me in your Bible. <laughs> Got to scratch the record on it, you know. Fuck, 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 fuck. Follow me in your Bible. Glory to God. <laughs> Help! Follow me in your Bible. Follow, follow me. Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. Give chapter and verse. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. Listen. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Oh, glory. Well, he's teaching you what Jesus taught. That's right. Because Jesus told them that repentance, every mission of sin, should be preaching his name. His name. Among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem, and Peter's at Jerusalem here. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. No, bow your head and raise your hand and accept Christ as your personal Savior. Repent. Get up and hold the preacher's hand and repeat a sinner's prayer. Peter said unto them, Repent. Say a sinner's prayer. Repent. You, you, you still remember that prayer, Will? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Tell the viewers what their prayer is. Come on, brother. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'm a sinner. Uh huh, yeah, that's Come into my heart, wash me, cleanse me, uh -huh. make me whole, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sinner's prayer. Are you saved yet? Not saved. Not from that. Viewers, I did that to show you how wicked man-made religion is. They make statements. Have you doing things that never exist in God's word nowhere? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine walking around for years bragging that you're saved and nobody in the Bible ever got saved like you? That's right. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. Oh, you jumping and shouting, running around church behind chairs, huckabucking and whatnot. <laughs> Going in some tongues and all that. I see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. Yeah, all right, see ya. Right. You better see that scripture. That's right. Amen. You better see the scriptures. That's right. Sir! Then Peter said unto them, repent. You got to do what? Repent. Now, why do God want repentance? Because if you really want to be right, you must be convicted about your wrong. That's right. Thank God you got to be sorry. sorry. Don't you know on the day of Pentecost, Peter was preaching this thing. Yeah. The Bible said they were pricked in their heart. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. They were pricked in their heart. And said to Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall what, we do? What shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, be sprinkled. Repent. No, the Catholic first pope said, 
be sprinkled. Peter said unto them, repent. No, the Catholic first pope says, pray to Mary. Peter said unto them, repent. Peter said, hail Mary, full of grace. Blessed be the womb of thy child Jesus. Peter said unto them, repent. Hail Mary, full of grace. Blessed be the fruit of thy womb, child Jesus. Peter said unto them, repent. Hail Mary, full of grace. Blessed be the fruit of thy womb, child Jesus. Peter said unto them, repent. Hail Mary, full of grace. Blessed be the fruit of thy womb, child Jesus. Peter said unto them, repent. Where do you get this bundle of trash from? Amen. Repent. Do you hear what your so-called first pope preached? Peter said unto them, repent. What? Repent. repent. Don't add nothing to it. Don't take nothing from it. That's right. Thank God and leave it just like God had. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. Be sprinkled. Be baptized. Wonderful. Be sprinkled. And be baptized. I want to say to the house of prayer of all people, yes, founder, what's so-called Daddy Grace, supposed to be apostolic and the way they baptize they hook a hose to a fire hydrant and all of them that want to be baptized put on white robes and they take the fire hose and shoot it up in the air and then everybody that want to be baptized just come walk under the water My Lord. you know remember when we was in the hood and we didn't have no swimming pool hook up that fire hydrant and a sprinkler on that was our hood swimming pool. That's an old hood baptism. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead. You ain't baptized. No. House of prayer of all people. You're not baptized. That's right. The Bible says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. Wait a minute. What about the bishop? Every one of you. The, the so-called apostle. Every one of you. The overseers. Every one of you. The diocese bishop. Every one of you. The district elder. Every one of you. That woman that's looking at me now mad. Every one of you. What that mad woman got to do? Repent and be baptized. That man that got both middle fingers up with both hands at the television looking at his tongue. What he got to do? Repent and be baptized. That man that's stomping around in the living room telling me I, ain't, I don't know what I'm talking about. He, I'm saved anyway. What do you got to do? Repent and be baptized. That low, good-for-nothing southern bigot that think he's saved because he's white. What do you got to do? Repent and be baptized. You that walk around and think you's a big black cat, think you a black panther. What you got to do? Repent and be baptized. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Repent. God. Hallelujah. All nations. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you. Who got to do it? Every one of you. Lord, take God, that's what makes our airtight. That's right. How? It, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Matthew 20 and 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He told them, Go do it. And Acts 2 38 is where it was done. That's right. It was one scripture told him, go do it. The other scripture is where it was done. So, my question again to all of you that got baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I want you to understand this. Not one apostle. Here, 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 here. You robe wearing, manicured, nail stubborn, Cadillac driving preacher. That's right. Not one. Not one person in the Bible got baptized and the preacher said over him, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And all the apostles obeyed Jesus. That's right. That's right. Let's, let, let's, let, let's take a walk. Now, and, and, and see where the apostles baptized. Now, Everybody all right? Amen. Lord, thank God, uh, we, 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 we're feasting in a good thing tonight. That's right. Have you been born again, viewer? Yeah. Come on, son. Now in Acts chapter 8 and we're at verse 16. All right. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them. For as yet the Holy Ghost didn't fall on none, on none of them. Only they were baptized. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. No, they bowed their head and raised their hands. They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want to say it to every church. Every church, every religion that baptized 
Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you are baptized wrong. wrong. Every preacher that have ever baptized anybody and you said Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, every baptism that you done was wrong. Nobody, here, here, here now, nobody that's baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is saved. Nobody, 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 nobody. Come on, preachers, make me prove it now. I take the Bible and make you lick that lie up. That's right. Nobody, you got to come on. Let's come back to the Bible. That's right. Hey, Amen. My wife came I walk around the house and say that all the time. Let's come on back to the Bible. That's it. Sometimes I, sometime I preach to myself. Wonderful. She come out the room. She say, are oh, you at it again? I look at it and say, let's come back to the Bible. <laughs> huh? Let's come on back to the Bible. That's right. Let's forget Billy Graham. He ain't bigger than Jesus. That's right. Come on back to the Bible. Forget Billy Graham. Forget him. Forget T.D. Jakes. Yeah. Forget your Pope. Yeah. Amen. Pope Paul. Pope John. Yeah. Pope John Paul. <laughs> That's right. Pope Francis. Pope Michael. Amen. Pope George. Yeah. Forget all of them. Yeah. Creflo Dollar. Yeah. Benny Hinn. Yeah. Forget all these mega church preachers. And let's come on back to Bible. 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 That's right. Oh, and take God what did he say? For as yet he was fallen upon none of them. They didn't receive the Holy Ghost yet. Only they were baptized. Wait a minute. Only. 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 What happened only? They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's the only baptism. That's right. Only. That's right. That's the only baptism. Only. That's, right. That's the only water baptism. What did he say? Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. No. Uh, now, if the Bible says only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, please tell me, viewer, how did your preacher slide in a <laughs> sinner's prayer. Mm. What happened? Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. What room do you have mm. for the hour of decision? That's right. What happened? Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. How did you slide in, bow your head, raise your hand, and accept Christ right where you are when this is all right here? Only they were only. baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. What we only got room for? Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. What all the Bible tell us to do? They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And how should it be done? Only in the name of the Lord Jesus. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. And what is the name of the Lord Jesus? Only they only. were baptized. Only. 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 I said only. Only. That's right. Only. Glory to God, nothing That's else. Something. That's something, brother. Nothing else. Nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How Hallelujah. were you baptized, viewers? All right. All right. Are you born again? You... While Peter yet spake these words. Listen at this in the book of Acts of the Apostles. Now in Acts chapter 10, I want this to be 44. good for you that already had the Holy Ghost and say you're saved without water. No, you're not. No, no, you're no, not. no, 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 no. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. Holy Ghost, don't wash away your sins. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. Holy Ghost, don't wash away your sins. That's right. You sing that song, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Well, when they pissed him in the side, out came blood and what else? Water. What else? Water. What else? Water. How did you get that blood, viewer? The blood. Was out water. Out water. Paul said, Why tarry thou? Arise. Get up. And be baptized. Be baptized. And wash away thy sins. Do what? Wash away thy sins. If I want my sins removed, what got to happen? Rip and be baptized. And what baptism do? And wash away thy sins. 
How we got it called? Calling on the name of the Lord. Who are you going to call? On the name of the Lord. Let's find out the Lord's name. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 5. Acts chapter 9 and verse 5. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, And the Lord said, I am Jesus. That's the name. Hallelujah. 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 Viewers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Baptism, viewers, is a deed. It's a deed. That's right. And words are spoken. That's right. When that deed is performed. That's right. And the Bible says in Colossians. Chapter 3 and verse 17. What? And whatsoever ye do. And the church of Christ preacher said, give Bible where the administrator, the one that's doing the baptizing, hmm. has to call the name. My Lord. Well, the one that's doing the baptizing is saying words mm -hmm. and he's performing a deed. Right. He's saying words and he's performing a deed. That's right. Now look at the instructions. Yeah. Colossians 3 and verse 17. Look at the instructions. And whatsoever ye do. Oh, this is so beautifully outlined. Hallelujah. Whatsoever you do. In word. In word. Or deed. How should it be done? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. How much of it? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. When I say words over that candidate, what got to be done? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. When I take him down the water, how must it be done? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Viewers. Amen. Words. <coughs> or deed. Or deed. Whatsoever. It must be done in the name of the Lord Jesus. Name of the Lord Jesus. Everyone that been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, must be baptized over again. Over again. Church of God in Christ. Amen. Church of God in Christ. Amen. Church of God in prophecy. Amen. Church of pillar, ground, and truth. Right. I don't care what you call yourself. Right. Every religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every religion yeah. that was baptized, Father, Son, yeah. Holy Ghost. You're not baptized. baptized. You're wet, but you ain't baptized. baptized. You must be baptized over. baptized over in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Is there anyone here tonight that wants to get it right and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet. Amen. <laughs> Wonderful. Come on. Hallelujah. You that are standing. You see those brothers standing back there? You that are standing, turn around and go to the back and go right back where they are. Everybody that have not been baptized must, must. Brother Webb, Brother Webb, baptize them. Must. Oh, you already back there? All right, Harris, some beat you to it. My God, man, I look around, Harris was gone. <laughs> Viewers, you that's in Rome, Italy, you that's in Australia, you that's in Japan, you that's in the South Pacific, you that's in all of Europe, all of Canada, all of America, every country in the world, where people were baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, contact the truth of God. God put this message in the earth for these last days to give you the opportunity to redo, get it right. Come on, sinner. Come on, sinner. Ain't no need to pace your floor and figure out what to do. Don't get mad and say, I know I'm saved. Well, you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. No, Pastor Jennings, then you're a sinner. Yes, sinner. It ain't nobody saved until you do it on Jesus' terms. That's right. Not do it the way some preacher over some mega church tell you. No. Let's come back. Remember this. Let's come back to Bible. <laughs> That's right. Let's come back to Bible. Bible. That's right. We're making a recall. Amen. Because there's a bug in your salvation. Amen. Yeah? Amen. There's a bug. 
in your salvation. salvation. Got to come on back. Right. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. All right. We're going to let you go to all of our ministers. We're going to continue our minister meeting tomorrow. Be here tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock sharp, so we can pick up where we left off. Prayer began at 11 o'clock. You better come early to get a seat. There's so many folks jammed in here, and they jammed upstairs also. And then after the first service, we'll break, and everybody come back Sunday night. Lord God, let's preach this new year in. Let us all stand. Pastor Taylor will close us out in prayer. God bless you. Most heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for these this services. We thank you for this meeting, the end of your service. Certainly, Lord, you have blessed us through the word. We thank you for the word on Saturday night and on Friday night. And Lord Jesus, and we continue to hear the word. We thank you for our pastor. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that how you give him the anointing and the power. Lord Jesus, to bring your word out. Lord Jesus, to teach it to the people. Lord Jesus, there's only one way, and that's Bible way. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, remember the souls that are going down in the water. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, fill them with the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus, let them stay on this course. Stay this way in the way of holiness. We thank you tonight, Lord. Bless us as we leave here. Bring us back safely for tomorrow. We give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. These blessings we ask in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. amen.